The rolling template is provided to give us a rolling ball, something similar to maybe like the old Marble Madness game, and allow the player to quickly simulate this effect. We have keyboard, gamepad, and touch-based input. We get a physics-based movement setup. We also get a physical material setup. If we run through our example template, we'll find our little ball. We can jump, we can roll. Now it's using torque for the impulse for physics. So we get a sliding effect based on the material we're on and we get the ability to basically simulate like we're pushing the ball in that direction. Now since it's physics based, we can of course collide with things and get reactions. Depending on the speed, we can knock things over as you and even travel up it. And we have the ability to go around the level. We can go up and down ramps as needed because this is a physics based system. Now with a little bit of work, we can of course improve this. Let's go ahead and pull up an example map. This was done after a little bit of time and we basically made a collecting game. We have some pickups that pulse and give us an indicator that they're special. We have a little total indicating how many we should pick up on our interface and we have a countdown timer. Our ball moves like normal and of course every time we pick one up, we get a little particle effect and our counter at the bottom increases. Now each surface can have a different physical material applied to it. Because we are using physics, the impulses and torque to push our ball, we could have a surface be slippery like ice, or it could be have a high friction like sand or sandpaper, and they'll give us a different result as we are rolling. When we get our last item here by jumping, we will find an end screen, it lets us know we win, and we get a total time based on the total time elapsed to complete our circuit. There was just a little bit of extra work to get a basic game in place based on our existing rolling template. At this point, you pass it off to something like a level designer or a game designer. Design some levels around this. Think of like the old Marvel Madness game where you're trying to go from the top of the level to the bottom and you have to avoid obstacles or collect things to maybe decrease your time or give you more time. Use the physics to your advantage to have things you have to plow through and such, and you could easily and quickly use the rolling template in order to make a rolling ball based game.